Black Skin's White Masks, pages 82 to 83, by Franz Fanon. I came into the world imbued with the will to find a meaning in things, my spirit filled with the desire to attain the source of the world, and then I found that I was an object in the midst of other objects. Sealed into that crushing objecthood, I turned beseechingly to others. Their attention was a liberation. Running over my body suddenly abraded into non-beating, endowing me once more with an agility that I had thought lost, and by taking me out of the world, restoring me to it. But just as I reached the other side, I stumbled, and the movements, the attitudes, the glances of the other fixed me there, in the sense in which a chemical solution is fixed by dye. I was indignant. I demanded an explanation. Nothing happened. I burst apart. Now, the fragments have been put together again by another self. As long as the black man is among his own, he will have no occasion except in minor internal conflicts to experience his being through others. There is, of course, the moment of being for others, of which Hegel speaks, but every ontology is made unattainable in a colonized and civilized society. Ontology, once it is finally admitted as leaving existence by the wayside, does not permit us to understand the being of the black man. For not only must a black man be black, he must be black in relation to the white man. Some critics will take it on themselves to remind us that this proposition has a converse. I say that this is false. The black man has no ontological resistance in the eyes of the white man. Overnight, the Negro has been given two frames of reference within which he has had to place himself. His metaphysics, or less pretentiously, his customs and the sources on which they were based, were wiped out because they were in conflict with a civilization that he did not know and that imposed itself on him. The black man among his own in the 20th century does not know at what moment his inferiority comes into being through the other. In the white world, the man of color encounters difficulties in the development of his bodily schema. Consciousness of the body is a solely negating activity. It is a third person consciousness. The body is surrounded by an atmosphere of certain uncertainty. I know that if I want to smoke, I shall have to reach out my right arm and take the pack of cigarettes lying at the other end of the table. The matches, however, are in the drawer on the left, and I shall have to lean back slightly. And all these movements are made not out of habit, but out of implicit knowledge, a slow composition of myself as a body in the middle of a spatial and temporal world. Such seems to be the schema. Mommy. It does not impose itself on me. It is rather a definitive structuring of the self and of the world. Definitive because it creates a real dialectic between my body and the world. <laughs>